What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, this. It's uh, UP pack and it's basically I'm going to be showing you how to convert it from 5M to single player. Because uh, I know someone asked about it and there's not many videos on how to do just basic UP uniform. So, so I'm going to be going over today in this video so stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually download this file or the, or the pack you want to use. I'm going to use this as an example. Uh, 9.2 LSPD pack. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Credit to the infamous dev for making it. Looks very nice, actually. Alright, let's go ahead and download it. It's the first thing you want to do. Right, looks like it's not going to work that much, so I'll we'll just have to do it this way. Yeah, so as I said, this was actually requested by... Requested by someone called Deputy Ken in his server. I posted pictures of the Marion County Sheriff. And uh, he wanted to know how I converted the 5M UP from the Marion County Sheriff to single player. So I said I'd make a, a little tutorial on it since uh, some people were not so sure on how to do that. All right, once you get it downloaded, go ahead and extract it from WinRAR. I mean, you can just use it in WinRAR, but I, you can, I like extracting it. Let's extract it to your desktop and drag it over here. And we're going to open this up. You need, and this is all for the 5M. So, first of all, let's go ahead and open Open IV. Do need open IV if you don't already have it. Go and click edit mode. And depending on what you're installing first, I'm going to install the mail uniforms. Because, uh, well, I'm not actually going to install them. Because I've got an EUP pack to install um, later for LSPD. And uh, it's not 5M, so it won't matter. But, and, uh, but I can show you this all. So go to mods, update, x64, dlc packs, eup, dlc.rpf, x64, and then all your hats will be in the eup components underscore p.rpf. The actual uniforms will be in this one here. Let's go here. Let's go mail. And you got a lot in here. I'm just going to, I'm just going to like, you know, go over how to install the basics because some of these are custom and actually have their own file. But it's the same thing you do if you do find it. Some of these are just textures. I'm not sure if there's actual models in this pack, but. Go over to class B with the turtle net and see it's these weird names and people are probably like, well, how do you change that? Or how do you know where this goes? Pretty simple. So you see how it says import text, right? That wherever it says in the name, for example, go to the insignias, the insignias go in the biker DLC folder. It's the same with every single thing. So what you're going to do, we'll go down to import X, and it's a class B, so I imagine it's for 0 to 7. It says 0 to 10, okay, but there's no 0 to 10, right? So, because it's a class B, it's most likely with a uh, it's most likely just going to be 007. So we want to go over to 007, and then, because it's LSP, it's most likely just going to be that. The YDD is your actual, like, uh, model. What you're going to do, 
Let's go to the one in OpenIV. You do this for the class A, the class C, and any other EP from 5M to LSPDFR, but you replace it with a different file, not just the 007. So, as I said, F2, uh, right, uh, left click on the file, then F2, and then you're going to click Control C for copy, and then on this file, you're going to click F2. Then you're going to click Backspace, and, you click, and then you're going to click Control V, and then you can drag and drop that in. And that will replace it and that will add the file. You do the same for the uh, textures. Same process, you just texture and then you do the same process and then you can drag drop these into your into the thing once you do all that they should work like i said i'm not actually going to install them because um i don't feel like it because i don't need them although they do look very cool and you got all the different classes here now there's a lot right so you do the same process for this, to figure out which class is which, you might have to like make a folder and then like drag and drop them, view which one is which, find the class A in the like test folder. So for uh, actually, it'd be easier if I show you, won't I? For example, when it thinks like this and it doesn't see the classes, and it's just random file. I recommend making a new folder in OpenIV and just call it. like test and then in drag classes and then you can see which class is which you I know that's a class C class B and class A so you know you can replace the 0014 0, uh, 014 007 004 with the ones in your default get in your single player It's the same process, but instead you rename 014, you copy that name and put it on the one that says 014 in here. And then, say you want the pants, it's the same, it goes in business too. Copy the name of lower 001 underscore r paste it in the in that one for the ydd then you copy the texture name and put it in there and like i said it makes it so easy with 5m because whatever it says here next to mail this name here is the file location that's what you find in single player because in 5m you don't have these files it's just one massive dump um but that's pretty much how you install that. So I didn't actually install it because I don't want them. And I don't particularly need them. I've got some other stuff to install and I don't want to override some stuff and kind of uh, mess things up. Now for belts, it's the same. Uh, there's already videos out there for 5M belts. Um, to EUP, I could probably leave a link to one. Uh, anything else is the same, and the hats as well as the exact same process. Not hard to do, honestly. <laughs> um, the reason I'm not going in game is because I I feel like there's no point. I don't have the time at the moment as well right now to hop in game quickly. Uh, but that is basically it. That's how you install it. And then once you're done with it, delete it off your desk. And you're done. And then you're good to go in game, test it out. And it'll just be into where your normal uniforms are. 
So, I hope that helped. If it didn't, leave your comments in the description down below. And if you've got any, maybe another tutorial you want me to do, leave a suggestion down below. I'm happy to do it because I know how to install a lot of things to this game. Which takes a lot of, it's a lot of hassle, but I know how to do it. So, just give me a suggestion of, uh, even a mod, and I'll, and I'll show you how to install it. And I'll actually go in game, it's just I don't, I don't want to mess around with my EP at the moment. I'm not in the mood to fix it if I break it, so. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash like if it helped. If it didn't, then uh, don't. But, you know, I, ho I hope to help you. Definitely help me. For when I do this, good little video to help me remember, actually. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. And leave your suggestions down below for any other tutorials that you might want me to do. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this short little video on how to install EUP5M to single player. Catch y'all later, guys.